You all right? Okay, listen, I, I got to say, I got to say something. I don't want this to be about me, but I do have to address what CM Punk said at the presser, okay? So, and I've not watched it back, so if I get a quote wrong, I'm sorry, all right? But uh, he comes in, he starts doing his deal, and then in the middle of it, and I was behind some guy, I apologize to whoever it was, and I don't mean this in a negative way, but he had a big head, okay? So I really couldn't even see Punk, and Punk couldn't see me. I'm just looking at the back of this guy's head and listening to Punk. And so uh, all of a sudden Punk says, uh, Alvarez, you mad at me? And I was like, what? And I, I literally, I, I went like this around the guy's head and I looked at Punk and I said, I'm not mad at you. And he goes, all right. And he chomps his muffin and he goes, I'm a little mad at you. And I was like, what? Okay. And I, I, I kind of, I, I sort of, I didn't laugh because I, I didn't want to make him like really mad, but I was kind of like, what? So then he, kept, he just kept going. I'm sitting there going, what's this bloke mad at me about? And uh, and then a little bit later, I don't remember the exact quote, but he said something like, you know, uh, I, I was watching a, a video that you did, and uh, I'm a little upset that you were incredulous that I had gone out there and, and, uh, and made those comments about Hangman. And I, I kind of immediately knew what he was getting at here. And so I don't know if it could be heard because I didn't have a mic, but I said, I said, hold on a second. Okay. I 100% when talking about this situation, I 100% said that a lot of people in the locker room were upset with you about what you had done. But I very specifically also said that you had supporters who believed that what you did was retaliation for something that Hangman started. And he chomped his muffin and he moved on. And that was absolutely audible to everybody that okay. was listening. So. Okay. So, so you know, and then he just kept, kind of kept going and moved on past it or whatever. And, you know, at the time, I was, I was still kind of half laughing about it because I was like, this is ridiculous. And, you know, then, of course, everything happened, and then I was kind of embroiled in that and everything. And then, and then really, it was like later, later on in the evening and kind of the next day, I started thinking about it. And, uh, and ironically... If if he were sitting where you are right now, I would say, uh, Phil, are you mad at me? And regardless of what he would say, he'd probably say yes. But regardless of what he would say, I think I would say, well, I am now kind of mad at you. Because here's the deal. I don't know what he did or didn't see. But what it seems like to me is that he saw a clip. And uh, I don't even know what the clip was. And, you know, quite frankly, I talked about this a million times, and maybe he saw a clip where he really thought, man, Brian is not being fair here, okay? But I absolutely have been fair in all of this. All of this. And he may not like it, but here is the truth. I was incredulous when he came out and he cut that promo on The Hangman. Now, I understand why he would be angry about that, okay? Because in his mind, he didn't start this. In his mind, Hangman went out and started addressing things that he was not having, and he's clearly, st it, 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 I mean, that was months ago. That was May, and it's September. So in his mind, this dude was out of line, he was unprofessional, and what I did was merely... Give him a receipt, okay? Now, I understand that that's what is in his mind, okay? In my mind, why was I more incredulous about what happened with the hangman? Why was I incredulous that he had done that? Well, well what did hangman say? I mean, I don't remember. But I, I, I remember that he was extremely vague. He did, he did not mention Colt Cabana. He did not, did not mention any of, of, you know, what everybody has, you know, been talking about for quite a while now. He made comments about how, you know, you, you claim to be a good guy, workers' rights, but you're not a good guy. And I don't remember what, el what else he said, but, you know, the fact of the matter is 99% of the people watching that on national television had absolutely no idea what the hangman was talking about. And I know that as a fan, I knew what he was talking about. But the way that they did their back and forth, 
I think Punk's thing was, I'm trying to build this pay-per-view and you're trying to tear it down. And I'm sure that's what he thought in his mind. And we can disagree on this, but when I when it was over, I thought, dude, I can't wait to see this. When it was over, I was like, man, you know, that sold this match to me. Okay? He thought otherwise. All right? Now, when he came out and he got his receipt on the hangman, he did not make vague comments. Okay? What he did was he came out and he challenged hangman who was the last champion who had never gotten a rematch, he challenged him to come down to the ring knowing he was not going to come out, and then essentially ridiculing him, calling him a coward, and then moving on, okay? In his mind, that was his receipt. I get that. But when I watched it, I was like, listen, yes, you both did the same thing, but nobody had any idea what the hangman was talking about. Whereas when you did this, you buried the hangman. You buried this character. You made this character a coward, okay? That, to me, is a different thing. So, yes, I was more incredulous about what Punk did than about what Hangman did. But if you listen to this show and not just clips on the Internet, I have always, I have always given the two sides of the story. I have given the side from the people that were angry about what CM Punk did. And I gave the side of the story that said, you know what? You can be angry about it, but Hangman started. I gave both sides of this. And for whatever reason, and you know what? I was irritated, but I'm not really that mad at Punk. Because the fact of the matter is, I do a lot of shows. And we have people that clip things up. And they and I'm not even mad. I'm not mad at Brian Rose. Okay? This is just what happens. They clip things up. And they put them on YouTube. And if you only watch that, you aren't getting the full story. And I do deal with this every day. I deal with it every day that people see a clip, they hear a clip, somebody sends them a clip, it's out of context, it's not the whole story, and they get mad about it. And it happens all the time. And so, in a sense, I'm not really that angry at Punk about it because he did what I hear about every day. But I want to make it clear that I was not unfair. This was not a situation where one side gave me what they thought about it and I regurgitated it and I didn't give the other side. I gave the I gave both sides of of this this fight. I gave both sides of the hangman. I gave both sides of Punk's promo on the hangman. And I will say, even though I am a little irritated at Punk right now, because I'm a fair man, you know, I sh I would note that Dude, this guy in that match with Moxley, he did a hell of a job, okay? And I say that because I also wrestled on Friday, and uh, this this is not easy, and uh, CM Punk was coming off a shattered foot, okay? This guy's coming off a shattered foot. How much cardio can you do with a shattered foot? My shoulder hurt, okay, but I can do cardio. This guy, I don't even know when he could run. I don't know what this guy could do for cardio. This guy had to come back with a foot... That, you know, whatever, whatever anybody says, I'm sure in his mind, he's not sure he's going to make it through a match. He had to do a long pay-per-view main event on a shattered, a, a shattered foot that he just got cleared. God only knows how much cardio and training he could do. He had to put in time in front of his hometown in a title match. And bro, I'm not taking anything away from Moxley either because that dude is the man. But dude, Punk did an incredible job in that match. It was a great match. And... What happened afterwards, kind of mad at him about that as well. But that's just life, dude. That's my side of the story. I don't know if you'll ever hear it, but I wanted to get that out there because I was irritated with that, that whole deal there. Listen, if I screw up, fine. Bro, I screw up all the time. But I don't like being... Yeah, whatever. That made me mad. All I have is a few questions. Oh, good. My favorite. Is it duplex or suplex? Or is it both? A wrestling move where you <laughs> grab your opponent and throw him backwards through the air is a suplex. A housing complex with two homes built connected is a duplex. Yeah, it's never been duplex, Granny, but you've, you've said this now for 15 okay, years, so we just I, yeah, let, yeah. It, let it go. Yeah. So I thought once and for all I want to know which it is. So it's duplex and not suplex. Right? No, a it's, suplex it's is suplex a suplex and <laughs> not duplex. Oh, okay. Duplex <laughs> is a housing development, Granny. Ulysses S. Grant, 
battle we, scars. We, we definitely read these. Skip forward no, a few pages. No, no, no. Okay, no. all right, all right, go ahead. We didn't do this one. Okay. Yeah, this person says we did. This person says we did it. I protest. There must be two of them then. I protest. <laughs> he wrote the same one twice. Yeah. I like this one about Grant so much. I'm going to put it in the book twice. I, I'm telling you, I wasn't back this time. Okay, far. fine. Read another one. Yeah, everyone's saying we read these last week, Granny. Big deal. <laughs> Who cares, but everybody? All the, but all the researchers today. Are you reading the book the wrong way? No. Okay. What do you think I am? <laughs> I don't know. You keep saying you're going back. <laughs> Why would we go back when reading a book? We're supposed to go forward. Maybe what happens, Granny, is you put the bookmark in, and then when you open it to that page, you start reading the ones we already read. Maybe the bookmark should go on the next page. No. Okay. <laughs> what do they say in court? I object. I object. Objection, Your Honor. Yeah, that's right. I didn't read that again. Overruled, Granny, you did. <laughs> All right. Anything else, Granny? You're guilty. <laughs> well. <laughs> go to go to jail. Your guilty was the high spot of the week. Oh, you shut me off. No. Oh, you're right here. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? There was some weird rumbling going on. Like uh -oh. she, she's unplugging her own cord there. I think you unplugged the cord. I can't hear you. you, you can you hear me? Can you hear me? I, I'll message you. I'll message you. I hear you now. Oh, now you do? Yeah, now I hear <laughs> <laughs> What happened? Uh, what happened? <laughs> I don't know. Ah! All right. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.